Hey everybody, my name's Amanda. I am a Air Force wife and we are actually on the enlisted side. Um, so right now, currently we live on Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What, what? So I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you guys what base housing looks like. Um, there are a lot of different options when you do come to this particular base. Um, our house is in Village 7, split into sides A and B. So um, right now we are in side A, so I can show you what that looks like. We do have three bedrooms and two and a half baths. So um, let me go ahead and show you what I've done. that this is pretty uh, rough <laughs> uh, as in we are still kind of moving in and getting settled but I'll show you guys what it looks like um, as soon as everything's completely done I have two puppies, um, so <laughs> if they decide to get up and move around, they might be a little bit loud in the background, and I'm so sorry about that. Um, I can't really control them, unfortunately. Um, right now they're sleeping, so we'll see if we can get most of it done, at least the downstairs before they wake up. Okay? Sweet. <laughs> The house opens up to the stairs on one side. Now in front of those stairs is a nice little coat closet here. Like I said, lots of clutter from the move. So, but it is a little storage space. We use it as such, especially right now. So, but then you open up to the living room. It does take a little bit more to heat and cool it. Um, now in regards to that, we usually keep these types of like thermal, energy saving curtains over the windows at all times so that, you know, it just helps us save a little bit more on those bills. Um, which is great, that's that 70 show. I don't know if you guys are fans, I am, I love it. Um, yeah, so, that helps us a lot, but the, even when we have these all closed, we still get a lot of natural light in here from those three windows, so we never really are in the dark, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, we this is actually a sectional couch. It is supposed to be like a big eight-foot footprint, um, but it fits in this room beautifully. There's still a lot of room. These little ones like to run around a lot during the daytime, so that's great. Now right off of this little nook, inside the nook is a bathroom. It is the half bathroom of the house, so you don't have a full bathroom downstairs. But half bathroom nonetheless. Very nice. And then it opens straight up into the bathroom. Which is custom built this um, so it's actually coming back it's coming with us wherever we go next um, so we have we have that that's just there for extra seating and extra places for people to actually eat in one big room as a family so it's been nice um, this area is technically the breakfast area the breakfast nook um, we use it as our dining room so um, this table does fit anywhere from six to eight people, depending on if you're using little ones on the bench or not. Um, it does also fit when the table is fully extended, which is anywhere from 12 to 14 people. So um, it's a big room, and it looks deceivingly small just because I filled it up, but it absolutely does fit a lot of people. We also went a little bit of a different route, and we decided to do some 
you know, bar stools and things like that instead of just all at the table. So, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things. <laughs> Not cramping everybody together. The kitchen is really beautiful. Um, and I mean beautiful as in so much space. Um, we come from apartment living though, so maybe this isn't all kind of space to you guys. Um, but I found that there are more cabinets than I know what to do with, and usually more counter space than I know what to do with as well. So, um, it's been really nice because that looks like a pantry over there. Um, like I said, we're still moving in, so please just forgive all the mess. does have a couple of really great little storage nooks in it. This first one is pretty small, but it's really great for storing pretty much just junk or like cleaning supplies or whatever you want. The, uh, the laundry room itself comes with walking space, really. Um, those do not come with it. Um, we had to buy those separately, so if you have them already great. But there's a lot of storage above it as well, so that's all great. Um, like I said, I found there's more storage than I know The last thing in here is just that there's a huge closet that's really a pantry. So we added extra storage shelves for medicine and things like that so that we could save this part for gadgets and dry goods and things like that. So um, we've really just thrown everything in there just so we can start living life. But um, one of these days I will get around to really organizing that. So that would be good. So the first bedroom is the smallest one. It's right over the dining room. So it's definitely a little bit smaller than the other one. But it's still a great size. And it does have a closet in here. Now the closet's not big. It's not a walk-in, nothing like that. But it is a great, it's great that it still has its own closet. So it's always helpful. Right next to it, you do have a bathroom. Definitely a decent size, easy to clean. I really don't have any complaints about it, so it's been great when we've had guests over and stuff like that to have their own bathroom. Oh, so nice. And bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is a lot bigger than bedroom number one. Um, still has those same closets. Closets in either one are actually pretty much exactly the same size. The room itself does change a little bit. But it's just, it's pretty much the same. And then you've got another closet here. Now I use this one, I think I'm going to use this one for like linens and cleaning supplies for bathrooms upstairs. That way I don't have to go up and down, up and down when I'm trying to clean it out. Because the Lord knows I don't want to be going up and down. Whoosh. Then you go into the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom is a little bit more done. It's not perfect. I'm still waiting on a wedding picture to be delivered to us to hang and things like that. 
but it's getting there. It's getting there slowly but surely. This one is the biggest out of the three. Obviously, it is the master bedroom. Um, but yeah, it's been quite nice. And it's also nice to have a master bedroom, or master bathroom just next to it. I'm not gonna lie, kind of a dream come true. This is the only closet that is a walk-in. It is a cramped walk-in closet. Village, I'm sorry, side B has a bigger walk-in closet than side A. So um, definitely something to think about, but it's got the three um, shelves up top. It's got two rows for you to hang two sets of clothes on either side. One, and then there's pants and stuff in there, so two. And then there's one in the back. So it still holds a lot of clothes. Um, it's just a little bit cramped in there. <laughs> but it gets the job done. Um, and then the bathroom here. Now the other difference that I've noticed between sides A and B is that um, B. So we have like a bunch of room right here. And we usually put um, a laundry basket right here. Um, it's been really, really great actually. Um, but inside B that gets moved all the way up to where this uh, gray bucket is really. So you really just get toilet, bathroom, nothing else. So it's been nice to have that extra room on side A. Even though we get echoey in the, in the living room all the time, it's been nice to have this area here for us. Um, just have that extra space so you don't really feel claustrophobic. The last thing about side A, I'm sorry, our house in general, um, is that there is, oh, I'm totally put that on, I'm sorry. You can see mountains. I come from Texas, so there are no mountains in Texas. But there's mountains right outside my window every day. So that's been kind of cool. Village 7, side A, three bedroom, two and a half bath house. Um, so far, we're actually really enjoying it. We've lived off base uh, over here in Albuquerque, and um, we've li now we've lived on base, and we're really enjoying the on base um, very much. So it's been a huge blessing to be able to be on here. Um, the and so I hope you guys.